Hello everyone, welcome to another aesthetic math problem involving inequality, a challenging question for beginners. Today's problem is as follows. Suppose a plus b plus c equals 10 and a, b, c are greater than or equal to 0. Find the maximum value of a minus b times b minus c times c minus a. Before we dive into the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab your pen and paper and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your attempts in the comments. Then we'll explore the solution together. Let's get started. Let's denote our expression as j equals a minus b times b minus c times c minus a. It's a common misconception that the maximum value is at 10 when a equals to b equals to c. But this is not true for our problem. Observe that if a equals to b, or b equals to c, or c equals to a, then j equals 0. For instance, with a, b, c as 5, 2, 3, j equals 6, which is greater than 0. Hence, the maximum value of j is not a 10 when a equals b equals to c. Let's explore different values of a, b, c and their corresponding j values. An interesting observation arises. j appears larger when b equals 0. So far, the highest value of j we found with various a, b, c combinations is 96. Is 96 the absolute maximum for j? Building on this observation, consider the case where b equals to 0 and a greater than c. Now, j becomes ac times a minus c. To solve this, we apply the AMGN inequality, but first, let's modify the expression. We can rewrite j as 1 over 3 times a times 3c times a minus c. By AMGN inequality, the average of a, 3c, and a minus c is at least the cube root of their product. Thus, 2 over 3 times a plus c to the power of 3 is at least a times 3c times a minus c. This implies that j is at most 1 over 3 times 2 over 3 times a plus c to the power of 3. Approximately 98.77. But does this mean that the maximum value of j is 98.77? Checking the equality reveal that the equality holds if and only if a equals to 3c equals to a minus c which means that a equals to c equals to 0, which obviously leads to a contradiction. Therefore, j is strictly less than 98.77. Now consider j square, which is a minus b square times b minus c square times c minus a square, where a greater than c greater than b greater than equals to 0. We find that j square is at most a square times b square times c minus a square. Again, apply AMGM inequality. We modify the expression to 1 over 4 times 2ac times 2ac times c minus a square. By AMGM, the average of 2ac, 2ac, and c minus a square is at least the cube root of their product. Implying that j square is at most 1 over 4 times a plus c square over 3 to the power of 3. Or equivalently, 1 over 4 times 27 times 
a plus c to the power of 6. And note that a plus c is less than a plus b plus c. Now, substituting a plus b plus c equals 10, we find that j is at most 1000 over 6 square root of 6, which approximately 96.225. Checking for equality, we find that it holds if and only if 2ac equals c minus a squared, leading us to approximate value for abc as 7.3210.2679. Thus, the maximum value of j is approximately. 96.225. Reflecting on our initial estimate of 96, it is a good attempt, but we can improve it further. As we successfully navigated through this problem, I encourage you to practice with similar challenge. Using the method we just explored, I'm confident you can tackle the following question. Try out and share your solutions in the comment. That's rest of today's lesson. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. Stay tuned for more exciting math challenge in future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.